Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're with Ping today in Phoenix, Arizona at Ping headquarters, talking with Marty Jertson about brand new G410 products. We're going to talk right now about the crossover. And Marty, the transformation here mm. from the original G crossover to G400 to G410 from a shaping standpoint has been remarkable. Yeah, this, this crossover club is uh, going to be very appealing in the look in the size and where it's going to fit into the bags, especially as we've advanced uh, how much distance we're bringing in to the iron category and our overall offerings in irons. This crossover club is going to be a great product uh, and an alternative to hybrids uh, because it's going to produce less curve on the ball and less shop bend because the CG is closer to the face. But the first thing players are going to notice, like you said, Chris, is, is the size of it and uh, what we've done little thinner sole, little smaller, you know, or a lot smaller blade length, and just kind of the perfect offset down there in the playing position. Yeah, and from a construction standpoint, these uh, in a lot of ways mirror what you've done with I-500, which has been incredibly successful in terms of the hollow design and the C-300 miraging face. Yeah, so that C-300 is really the staple. So this is a miraging steel. It provides something that's uh, very counterintuitive, it's, it's strong and flexible at the same time. So we get a lot of flex from the face during the impact interval. What's a little bit different about the crossover than the I-500, and, and this is gonna be important from a fitting standpoint, is that the crossover goes higher. It produces about a 20% higher peak trajectory or max height. And so this is gonna be a really good club if an I-500 three iron or four iron just doesn't get the ball in the air high enough for you, this is going to be the club to take a look at to help bridge that gap to your, your fairway woods. And in addition to bridging the gap performance-wise, it's going to bridge it perfectly look-wise. Yeah, look-wise is going to be good. And, and with making it a little smaller, one thing we wanted to do is not sacrifice the forgiveness. So we've increased the amount of tungsten in the low toe by 50%. And so you can kind of see the shadow of where we placed it. And uh, we do it in a unique way that's specific to us, is we actually weld the high density tungsten weight from the outside instead of from the inside. So we get all that high density mass right to the border for more efficiency. So even though it's more compact, we s it's still very stable and, and, and forgiving if you don't hit it right on the button. And for those players who are you know, looking to, you know, oftentimes these are the toughest spots in the bag to fill yeah. for players. And it's going to be offered in a 2, a 3, and a 4 in G410, where previously in G400 you were at a 3, a 4, and a 5, correct? That's correct, yeah. So the 2 is going to be, uh, obviously, for the, the player that has a little more speed and, and can bring, bring a little more heat to get the rise on the ball, or a really good driving iron style of club. The 3 and the 4 are going to be great options that I think are going to get a lot of movement out there for those I-500, I-210 type of players, even a G410 player. Uh, that sees the advantage of a, a metalwood-like flat face design from a curve standpoint. And these have a lot of custom fitting capability. You, you notice with our notch design here, that allows us to get our full color code range. So now you can blend them in with your irons really well. And in addition to, uh, you know, all the shaft offerings that, that we can bring into play also. And I know you're excited about all the new G410 products, but you told me this is going in the bag straight away. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> this is going to be the perfect club for me. And, you know, it's, we're in a fun place now where, you know, uh, you're, you can have players transition from hybrids, uh, which still have their place and there's still a, a very good benefit for a lot of the golf community. But now you can hit a flat face long iron type of club and the crossover is that and uh, get the distance that you get with a hybrid but a little more directional control a little shot making capability if you have that skill yeah so if you're a second swing customer you're struggling to fill that gap between your fairway woods and your longest iron maybe don't get along with hybrids need the distance need the launch g410 crossover could be perfect for you of course we'll take your old clubs in on trade mm -hmm give this a try, maybe help you save a few shots out there on the golf course. Marty, we appreciate it. All Thanks. Right. Thanks, Chris.